On a test track west of Tokyo, Japan's superconducting maglev train hits 603 kilometers an hour. In doing so, it breaks the world train speed record. This train is set up the same way as we'll use it commercially. The comfort of passengers at this high speed has improved, and I think these tests should lead to stable commercial use in the future. The test's part of an ambitious plan to build a $47 billion high speed line between Tokyo and Nagoya. If completed as planned in 2027, the 280 kilometers could be travelled in around 40 minutes. When they're going past over 500 kilometers an hour, they do make a lot of noise. And so by having them deep underground, and we're talking about at least 40 metres underground, it's thought that they're out of the way and so on. And of course, once you're underground, you don't have to be worrying about trying to navigate round corners and so on, because you can effectively draw a, a track point to point and almost have an exact straight line. If you've ever played with magnets, you know that opposite poles attract and like poles repel each other. And this is the idea behind magnetic levitation. Powerful superconducting magnets in the track and the train lift it about 10 centimetres off the ground. Then another set of electromagnets push it along. Because it's riding on a cushion of air, there's little friction. This makes it a smooth ride and potentially very fast. Japan's also hoping to sell its high-speed train technology to the US. Last April, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe took a ride with US Ambassador to Japan, Caroline Kennedy. Its push to find overseas customers is an attempt to recover some of its research and development costs. It's also a response to China's efforts to sell high-speed train technology, some of which originally came from Japan. Although the Germans also have a system, it's starting to look as though the Japanese may be slightly in the lead in their technology and so on, uh, may be slightly superior. And I think Japan is thinking this is where we can really be pushing forward and have a, an advantage over other countries. But some critics say the technology remains too expensive, power intensive and potentially unsafe. They say an event like an earthquake could knock the train off its line and at such high speeds it would have a devastating effect. But Japanese engineers say their early warning system can deal with this and the continuing tests will prove the safety and efficiency of this new generation of trains. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.